What makes an NBA player a great basketballer? Is it their ability to go through the defense, play under control, shift between different paces, and win the game for their team? Got it to go, and this is Phoenix's biggest deficit all season. For Luka Doncic, that's certainly the case. For people not familiar with this incredible player, Luka is a Ford with the Dallas Mavericks and is the second fastest player in the history of the NBA to record 50 triple doubles. Incredible, right? The star NBA player hit the milestone one game before Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers on a Friday night against the visiting Denver Nuggets. Luka, oh, he put pain. He scored 33 points, grabbing 12 rebounds and dishing out 11 assists. In contrast to Johnson, Luka won the championship by a comfortable margin of one game. Uh, I think I myself learned a lot, of, a lot from them, especially Steph. Johnson needed 279 games, while Doncic needed 278. Only Oscar Robertson needed fewer games to hit that triple-double mark. Luka, who is just 23 years old, has already established himself as a league legend after recording four 30-point triple-doubles in only 14 games. But points are not the only reason why Luka Doncic is seen as one of the most feared NBA players. It's also because of his brand success in the financial market. This guy is raking in millions beyond basketball. According to the PWCC, the 2018 Luka Logo Man is the sixth priciest trading card in the world. According to the auction company, this card achieved a new high price for a trading card at auction. On another record, a very rare Luka Doncic rookie card set a new record for a basketball card when it sold at auction for $3.12 million. Unbelievable. Luka Doncic taking a rock. The official NBA Shield logo is included with the player's signature on this one-of-a-kind 2018-2019 Logo Man Rookie Patch autograph card. The Doncic Logo Man sold at a private auction for a record-breaking $4.6 million in March of 2021. Jesse Craig, VP of Sales at PWCC, has verified that this is the highest amount ever paid at a public auction for a set of basketball cards. But where did he start? Luka Doncic, a child born in Ljubljana, which is Slovenia's capital and largest city, only wanted a ball to play with as a child. It didn't matter how many he already had, he always found one more. In his first year of elementary school, his gym teacher at Marana Yarka Elementary School in Ljubljana was the first to notice his talent for sports. So Luka started running in every possible school in cross-country competition. His medal collection from various running events grew gradually. In the same year, he showed potential as a basketball player. Luka, who was never tired, worked on his football, handball, tennis, and swimming skills. It was too much of a time commitment for him to train for all those sports, but nothing could stop him. His ambition to do well in everything helped his dedication to basketball. He started attending the Union Olympia Basketball School in 2006 and quickly became one of the best players in the country. Ahead of his contemporaries, his progress was swift and obvious. Despite being just nine years old, his height and ability level put him in the group of boys who were at least three to four years older than him. He played a significant role in his team's success throughout the years. Because of Luka's constant dedication to success, several of the best European clubs had scouts in Madrid to track Luka, some even going through his parents. Eventually, Luka signed with Real Madrid and made his debut at the tender age of 16, becoming the club's youngest player. Now, get this, within 16 seconds of entering his first game with Madrid, Luka made his imprint on the stat sheet with a three-pointer. After making 31 games in the inaugural season of the Endesa League 2015-2016 season, Luka averaged 4.9 points, 2.8 rebounds, and 2 assists in 14 minutes per game. That season, he became the Spanish champion. At 17, Luka set a new record for the youngest European Finals MVP. After the dream season of 2017-18, Luka applied for the NBA draft as the 12th Slovenian basketball player who participated in it. In the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York on June 21, 2018, he was taken as the third overall pick by the Atlanta Hawks. 
In the last seconds before voting, Atlanta and Dallas opted to swap out some of their players, resulting in Luka finishing third in Dallas and Trey Young in fifth place. He became the highest Slovenian player ever picked into the NBA, fulfilling a long-held dream of his. Did you know only three players in NBA history started a season with more than seven 30-point games? Luka Doncic is the third on that list. He's maintained this impressive play thus far in the 22-23 NBA season and has now equaled a record that just two NBA Hall of Famers have held. The 23-year-old's achievements have made him the youngest player in NBA history and the first since 1958 to accomplish it through the first seven games of a season. Before this, only Jack Twyman and Wilt Chamberlain had achieved this feat. Chamberlain, a four-time NBA MVP, was the only player to achieve it before this in 1962-63. Although Twyman beat him to it by a season, Chamberlain did it first. In his brief time in the NBA, Doncic became a household name, continuously surpassing records set by the game's all-time greats and earning his place alongside them. He says, I couldn't be happier now that I get paid to play basketball professionally. I'm just happy to be out there, and it's a bonus when we come out on top. The fact that we see Luca's talent every night is remarkable. And at 23 years old, imagine how much more there is left to see from him. So what do you think about Luka Doncic? Do you think his reputation as the most feared NBA player will secure his place permanently among NBA's greatest legends? Let us know in the comments. And which basketballer do you want us to cover next? We'll see you in the next video.